Hello friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to get a special building material in Stardew Valley and that is hardwood. There are two types of wood in this game, regular wood and hardwood. To obtain regular wood, you simply need to use your axe and swing at a tree a few times until the tree falls down. Depending on the quality of your axe, it may take a few more swings to knock down the tree. The higher the quality of your axe, the less swings you will have to take to knock it down. The same goes for stumps and large logs. When you chop down a tree, you will receive wood, sap, and oftentimes a seed for a maple tree, oak tree, or a pine tree. So, what tree does the hardwood come from? Hardwood can be obtained in a few ways. By chopping down a mahogany tree with any axe, a large stump with a copper axe or better, or a large log with a steel axe or better. But before we learn how to upgrade your axe or learn what hardwood is used for, let's hear a word from our sponsors. Hello friends. Okay, so I recently got a sponsorship from G Fuel and so I have a bunch of stuff to taste test, but this is their new flavor Kamehameha. Uh, it is a strawberry lychee flavor that I'm going to be taste testing here in a moment. Let's try it. Didn't get on my keyboard, it's fine. First sip. It's good. It's also clear. I wasn't expecting it to be clear either. I was expecting it to be like pink or something. Good flavor. I like it. I like that it doesn't have a really like... It's sugar-free, so it doesn't have like a super strong bite, and it doesn't make my teeth automatically feel like they're coated in sugar, because it's sugar-free. Uh, 140 milligrams caffeine, zero calories, zero sugar, zero artificial flavors. To upgrade your axe, you will have to pay a visit to Clint in town. To upgrade to a copper axe, you will need 2,000 gold and 5 copper bars. To upgrade to a steel axe, you will need 5,000 gold and 5 iron bars. You can also upgrade to gold and iridium level axes, though they are not necessary to chop down a large stump or a large log. Having an upgraded axe will make it much easier and faster to chop down trees, stumps, and logs. Know that, like many other things in the game, swinging your axe and chopping down trees will use energy and tire out your farmer. The copper axe can take down a large stump, which you will see on your farm when you first start out. Six large stumps respond daily in the secret woods, making it possible to obtain 12 hardwood per day. The secret woods can be unlocked when you use a steel axe to chop down the large log blocking the path above the wizard's tower on the far west side of the woods. With the forest farm map, there are eight more stumps on the left side of the farm, making for an additional 16 hardwood that responds daily. On the four corners farm, one responds at the top left corner. Hardwood can also be received as loot by breaking barrels and boxes in the mines. Hardwood is readily available from various trees using the appropriate axes in the dangerous mines floors 41 through 69. Normal trees have a chance of dropping hardwood with the lumberjack profession. This can be done with any axe or any bombs. Several mahogany trees on Ginger Island produce hardwood when chopped and will regrow. Robin may also gift the player 25 hardwood at the Feast of the Winter Star. Hardwood is needed to craft various presses, building upgrades, and other crafting recipes. Some examples are the cheese press, the oil maker, hardwood fence, warp totems, casks, and more. It is also needed for your second farmhouse upgrade and a horse stable. Hardwood is also needed for the construction bundle and the crafts room when completing the community center. And that's it! It's really that simple. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't miss a video, be sure to hit that notification bell. And keep up with me on every other platform. Twitter, Discord, I even have a Facebook page, Instagram. Be sure to check it out at The Anime Athlete. And if you're not watching over on Twitch, then what are you waiting for? Come join us on Twitch and watch me play Stardew Valley live. Twitch.tv slash The Anime Athlete. I'm live almost every night, and every Friday night is community night. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good rest of your night.